so good. I want some fancy sauce. Yeah. Many Americans like to add something a little extra to their steak. You like steak? Yeah. I do. And today we're going to explore 10 secrets you should know about A1 steak sauce. It's a family secret. Oh. Come on, you gotta tell me that. A1 originated in the United Kingdom. It's all London, baby. The roots of the A1 steak sauce brand are largely recognized to have originated in England when Henderson William Brand worked as a cook for King George IV of England in the 1820s. While working for the king, the creative chef prepared a wonderful brown sauce, which, legend has it, was rated A1 by the king. The word A1 is actually a marine classification system that was founded in 1764 for ensuring naval vessels by Lloyds of London. The hulls of ships are rated using a letter system, with A being the highest, while the other ship components are rated using a numbered system, with one being the highest. As a result, the word A1 referred to a ship that had the highest rating, and A1 evolved to indicate the best of the best. It's unclear whether the king really said brand sauce was A1 or not, but if you're going to put that sauce on the market, what better moniker could you choose? Which is exactly what Brand did. In 1831, Brand's A1 sauce was launched commercially and marketed as a sauce for fowl, fish, and meat. Growing in popularity, the sauce was eventually available throughout the UK and was introduced to Canada and the United States. The British sauce was brought to the US in the early 1900s and by the 1960s was being officially promoted as a steak sauce. Funny enough, as the sauce was gaining popularity in the USA, it was starting to fade in its native Britain. The A1 sauce lost favor in its homeland and was soon being overshadowed by another brown sauce, HP sauce. With HP sauce now being preferred by most in the UK, finding A1 has become difficult, with only a few select outlets selling the once famous sauce in the United Kingdom. A1 was used to hide the flavor of outdated meat. Is that what I'm going to find when I cut into the steak? I sure hope so, Chef. With a few exceptions, A1 features a somewhat predictable list of ingredients for a sauce that has been around since the 1800s. One of those exceptions is raisin paste, which was invented by H.W. Brand and has since been used in a variety of sauces and other dishes. In the days before refrigeration, the antioxidants in raisins not only helped prevent the deterioration of beef, but it also helped hide the flavor of rotting beef. Also included in the sauce's list of ingredients is distilled vinegar, one of the world's oldest meat tenderizers, though A1 sauce started off by using the more costly malt vinegar. Orange marmalade was also used in older versions of the sauce instead of orange puree. It's time for the sugar. That's what turns the juice into marmalade. Of course, the spices and herbs are a trade secret surely kept under lock and key. It's interesting to note that the recipe used in the United States differs significantly to the original recipe used in the UK and in Canada. So depending where you are, A1 may have a bit of a different taste. They removed the word steak from their labels. Why? 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 If we say A1, what do you say? You've joined the club if you said, it's how steak is done. In the early 1990s, this slogan closed every A1 sauce commercial. While the sauce may have originated in England, it made its way across the Atlantic in the early 1900s to be copyrighted and marketed in the United States. However, the term steak wasn't added to the A1 sauce name until the 1960s, probably because Americans were eating a lot of beef at the time. The rebranded A1 steak sauce was doing brisk business in the United States until recently, when dwindling beef sales forced the A1 team to reconsider the whole steak thing. So A1 officially dropped the term steak from its name in 2014. This news was supported by a hilarious Facebook campaign which saw the sauce moved on from being devoted to beef to befriending a slew of other meats and leaving its relationship status with steak as it's complicated. After all, when A1 was first introduced, it was touted as a sauce unlike any other, relished on a variety of meats, fish, and fowl. Dropping the steak was a nod to A1's distinguished past but it was also good business. After all, the trend toward plant-based meals is here to stay, and knowing that the sauce you're buying can be used on a variety of cuisines makes it more accessible to all the vegetarians out there. Plus, if you could buy one excellent sauce to 
reviews on chicken, fish, veggies, and steak. Wouldn't you rather have one bottle than four? You could buy A1 scented candles. What's that smell? The greatest scented candles don't just make your house smell nice, they also bring back memories and create moods. After burning a beach-scented candle, who hasn't been taken away to a favorite vacation place? A pumpkin-spiced candle can immediately make you think of a fall day. Well, if you connect summer with a good old-fashioned barbecue, you could have had some meat-scented candles to keep your home smelling like a backyard get-together all year. Yes, candles with a meaty scent are real. In 2018, A1 Original Meat, Backyard Barbecue, and Classic Burger meat-scented candles were available as part of a Father's Day promotion. While they aren't the most traditional candle fragrances, they seem like they would be ideal for a dad who loves to spend their summer grilling. The candles were available for $14.99 online while supplies lasted, which apparently was not very long, as all of these novelty candles were quickly scooped up. The A1 meat-scented candles are genuinely a one-of-a-kind novelty item. What will the famous sauce company come up with next? There was a court case over the name A1. Now, say my name. With a history spanning more than a century, the name A1 has undoubtedly stood the test of time. It's hardly surprising, therefore, that some competitors are attempting to capitalize on its popularity. But for at least one sauce vendor, that meant going above and beyond what the law permitted. Arnold Kay, a Connecticut deli entrepreneur, was selling his own unique sauce at his deli and other stores in the early 1990s. He dubbed the sauce A2. Unsurprisingly, this did not sit well with the executive executives of Nabisco, the U.S. owners of A1 at the time. Oh, we are gonna sue you! What? The corporation sued the Connecticut businessman for trademark infringement in 1991. Kay confirmed that the nickname A2 was chosen to capitalize on A1's brand awareness, but he said it was meant to be a joke. He further denied that buyers would be confused or assume the two condiments were part of the same product line because the sauces tasted different. The court didn't buy it, ruling in favor of Nabisco. Not only was Kay barred from using the A2 name in the future, but he was also forced to reclaim and destroy any bottles that still remained on store shelves. A1 tastes different in Canada. Unbelievable. If you happen to be north of the border and have a craving for A1 sauce, you're in luck. Sort of. Because A1 is currently owned by Kraft, the sauce is sold in Canada. The trouble is that it will not taste like the A1 you're used to in the United States. A cursory glance at the ingredients list for both the American and Canadian versions reveals that they are made using completely different recipes. While they all start with tomato puree and include tastes like orange and raisin, vinegar and salt, there are a few major differences. Sugar, caramel and molasses are used in the Canadian version, which is quite sweet. The United States adopts a different approach. Caramel coloring is used in American A1 sauce, giving it a similar appearance but without the sweetness. There are more distinctions between these two A1 versions than you would think. An intrepid researcher discovered that the Canadian sauce is significantly thicker than the American version, which is a little watery. The bottle and label are also quite different. Unlike the American twist cap container, the sauce is sold in a squeeze bottle north of the border, similar to ketchup. In Canada, the sauce is also branded A1 without any periods after the A and the 1. So while the name is essentially the same, the taste may vary once you cross the border. Nicki Minaj asked for A1 at a high-class steakhouse. Dip. Uh -huh. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Paparazzi captured Nicki Minaj having an expensive supper with a friend at trendy LA restaurant Boa. Super posh. Everything was okay on the prime steak front until the Starship's singer requested a bottle of A1 sauce. Such a request would be considered an insult to the chef at any expensive restaurant. But they accommodated the hip-hop diva by sending someone out to get her a bottle so she could devour her steak just the way she wanted it. A1 has applauded Nicki Minaj's diva demands. 
The condiment firm was overjoyed at their newfound admirer and the publicity that came with it. Since the A1 incident made headlines, Minaj has allegedly been showered with bottles of the sauce by A1 employees. They were thrilled to hear Nicki Minaj adores the sauce as much as she does. <laughs> they sent Nicki more than a few bottles of the A1 original steak sauce to make sure she's never sauceless again. It's safe to say that she'll probably have a1 with her everywhere she goes from now on. For life. Oh my god, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever given me. There are many flavors of A1 steak sauce. Mm, I love it. The richness is divine. And just what flavor did you say this was again? Because A1 sauce has been around for such a long time, it's reasonable to assume that fans of the original recipe love the taste. That isn't to say the condiments makers are content with their accomplishments. In fact, Kraft, the company that controls the A1 brand, keeps coming up with new sauce variants for the more than a century old sauce. The list includes A1 sweet chili garlic sauce, which contains somewhat fiery cayenne powder, bell pepper, and hints of garlic. You can serve this one with chicken strips or buffalo wings for a complete upgrade. There's also A1 Bold and Spicy, which uses Tabasco sauce, and A1 Sweet Hickory, which calls for Bullseye's barbecue sauce. A1 also provides a smoky black pepper variation for those seeking a peppery tang, while the A1 Spicy Chipotle sauce has a distinct Mexican flavor profile. That's not all, though. But wait! Marinades have been added to the A1 product portfolio. Maybe they found out that people were commonly using the original version for such a purpose. The marinade flavors include Classic, New York Steak, Chicago Steak, Texas, New Orleans Cajun, and Mesquite, to name a few. So why just stick to the original when you can have so many A1 sauce options to choose from? You can use A1 for other things, too. Yeah, how much of this stuff I can get off and get it cleaned up and ready for some sauce. When A1 was changing the name and dropped the word steak from its moniker, the company introduced a new tagline for virtually anything, almost. Everyone was quite confident they were referring to nearly any type of meal. However, some people have gotten creative with the phrase, employing A1 sauce for a variety of home chores. One of the most prevalent uses for A1 sauce outside of the kitchen is metal polishing. You might wonder why. Well, the condiments components are the reason behind Behind this, the acidic elements of A1 sauce include vinegar and tomato paste. Acid can aid in the removal of tarnish from metals. Tomatoes and vinegar are widely used to polish brass, copper, and silver as a result of this. There's more, though. A1 sauce may also be used to polish shoes and cover scratches on wood furniture. The most unusual claim made by A1 is that it may be used to treat insect bites. It's unclear how this concept arose, or whether it's true, but it's likely due to the sauce's vinegar, which is known to chill skin and minimize scorching and stinging. So the next time you're out camping in the woods, make sure you have a bottle of A1 with you, not only for flavoring your foods, but also to treat those pesky insect bites. Ah! That's good. You're sure to be popular among the other campers, but you may want to be on the lookout for hungry bears. <laughs> hey, all right, you made it to the end, so why stop now? Here's another Babbletop video for you to check out. Thanks for watching.